So you're telling me that I've been sitting here causing no problems whatsoever, just waiting to set an appointment. I'm only trying to set my appointment with them. Okay. The second this lady, Megan, the second this lady is done with this gentleman, I have to ask her if my appointment is set and what date it's set for. That is all. I have no weapons on me, no weapons in my vehicle. I even went out of my way to take a hatchet out of my vehicle so there's no problems. I understand. Okay? But like I told you last time, you're not doing this. You cannot wear a holster. And if it is, it, it, it implies that you have a weapon. That is why you cannot. Other people see it. They have complained. Okay? It is empty, it is not a weapon, and there is nothing in the rules that say I can't have it. The only reason why you guys are saying that I can't have it is because your chief of security got a bug up his butt because I told him that it keeps me calm and keeps me relaxed because of my PTSD and because I told him that and he wants to set an example out of me. Now I'm not allowed to have it. That's just it. You're not the only one. I have personally done reports on other veterans that come in here and do this. On the list of things that it says are not allowed on the VA property. Weapons, knives, pistols, ammunition, uh brass knuckles, whatever else is on that list. Mm -hmm. All that, the list of everything that is not allowed on VA property, there is not anywhere on that list an empty holster. Like I said, I understand where you come from. I do. I understand what you're saying. But my directive, our directive. From your chief of security is anytime you see me with it. Not just you, anybody. Nobody's allowed to wear an empty holster because it, it gives us the... Let me, let me Makes you guys think that I might have a weapon on me, right. which, no problem. Then search me. You see that I don't have a weapon. You still cannot have it on inside the VA property. That's not... Now again, it's not just you, it's everybody. Even though nowhere on the list does yes. it say... That is our directive. Because for, I don't know, for several months of me being out of the Army and coming to the VA, I had no problems until the one day that I forgot to check my pockets and you guys gave me an $800 fine because I legitimately have memory problems. I understand it. And even though I legitimately forgot to check my pockets ever since that day, now, out of his exact words were, your holster privileges are suspended. My holster privileges, even though nowhere in the regulations of the state you're not allowed to have it. Up until that day, I was allowed to have it. It's not that you were allowed to have it. No, I was, I was talking to him before I went to my appointment, not about the dog, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah give us just one okay, second. Okay, no problem. Um, all I know is they told us, anybody with a host, it's not just you. So, if that's all you got to do is verify that you got an appointment, I'm going to ask that you do that quickly. It, and I'm if gonna she's ask, done with the gentleman, I can I ask her real she's quick? She's not there right now. Okay. Um, but I'm going to ask you this, okay? From one man to another, not officer to, to person, but man to man. You know you can't have anything. Like that. Every time you wear it, you get us involved. Is that true, or is that a true statement? Yes. Every okay. time, ever since that day that I got the fine, because I legitimately forgot to check my pockets. But ever since that day, anytime I come in here with it. You guys stop me, 
you guys tell me to remove it, and, he, and it's only the holster. It, it's, it's not that you think I have weapons on me, because half the time you guys don't even search me. The second I take it off and put it in the car, you guys leave me alone. It's not even that you guys think I have a weapon, it's just an empty holster, even though nowhere in the regulations it states. This has nothing to do with you. It has to do with your boss, who had no problem with me, until all of a sudden that day that I legitimately forgot but to check my pockets. Yes, it is. No, it is. Because my partner had stopped you previous to that when you had your holster and... Oh, and because that was. day that I didn't know ammunition, up until that day I didn't know ammunition was not allowed. And then when you guys saw the ammunition and said that I wasn't allowed to have it, I immediately, I didn't even take it to my truck. I took it to my truck, took it home, and then came back. But what I'm saying, my point is this. We're talking right now, it's okay. Time and time again, you come in here. Time and time again, you've got your holster. Time and time again, we have to you know, run into prison. We have to talk to you about it. I don't understand. No, Trust see, me, understand there was, the okay, look, PTSD. there was no problems with me until that day that you guys said, hey, sir, you have ammunition, your holster's not allowed on the property. Okay, I am so sorry, I didn't know. I took it in my car, took it home, came back. And then from then on, you guys wanted me to check in. When I came in, show you it's empty, and then I can go about my business. And that's what I was doing. And then one day, they searched me, and I legitimately forgot to check my pockets. She found a knife and ammunition. I said, I'm so sorry, let me remove it. I will take it straight home. She's like, no, here's a fine, we're taking your check. Gives me an $800 fine. Your boss says that my holster privileges are suspended. Quote, quote. That's his exact words. Your holster privileges are now suspended. Even though nowhere in the regulations, there's, you know. And then ever since then, you guys stopped me and harassed me over a piece of leather, an empty piece of fabric. It's not that we're harassing you. Okay. It we're is, because you guys have the time don't even search me for a weapon. Because you guys aren't sitting here doing this because of a weapon or anything. Okay, so let me ask you this. Would it be, so if I was to search you right now, would that make all this better? If you wanted to search me for a weapon, go ahead. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to change anything whether you search me or not. That's my point. That's my point, too. It's over a holster and because he got a bug up his butt. If that's the case, then do what you got to do to try and get it rectified. But until you do... I've been trying to get it rectified. I've called Washington. I've called Raleigh. And what did they tell you? Uh, I'm not allowed to speak about what D.C. told me. Okay. But, I mean, I'm assuming that because it's still... The word is that you still can't wear holsters on VA property. I'm not saying that you can't have it, you just can't wear it. Are you recording this? So even with like items that are not allowed on the property, like say if I had a pocket knife, I wouldn't even be allowed to take it and put it in my truck. I would have to put it in my truck and take it home and remove it from the property because it's not allowed on the property. But the holster, as long as it's in my truck, it's okay. You gotta understand too, sir. Other veterans who also have PTSD, it bothers Then I'll cover it up. Cover it up and see what we have to go do. We can't see it. If we don't see it, you notice I didn't, when you were sitting down over here, yeah, go ahead. I was just coming. I wanted to check on you in there.